tension continues to grip Hyderabad as protests continue to intensify across the city. State Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao held a high-level meeting and instructed police officials to crack down on those threatening the law and order situation. The Rapid Action Force has also been stationed in sensitive areas, mainly in the Shalibanda area. And on the other hand, politics continues to peak after AIMIM Zafar Khan's beheading threat. Another AIMIM Neta, Nazreen Sultana's video, leading a rally where beheading slogans were raised, has gone viral. Now, apart from the AIMIM, the Congress too has jumped into this ugly war after its leader, Faroz Khan, said that Raja Singh should be beaten up the moment that he is spotted. Hyderabad on the boil. Street protests across the city of Nizams on Tuesday and into today. At Shalibanda, at Charminar and the Old City, at Barkas Road and other pockets. First since Monday evening over a BJP MLA's video insulting the Prophet, then over this MLA being granted bail shortly after arrest on Tuesday. The anger comes out in his effigies set ablaze. The rapid action force had to be called in. RAF, state police and armed reserve forces conducted flag marches. Sections were posted at Hindu majority areas in the old city. Standing out amid the mayhem, this. The slogan of hate that began to resound after Nupur Sharma insulted the Prophet and becomes the phrase of radical Islamist rage again. The AIMIM that comes out guns blazing against the BJP distances itself from the slogan itself, though it was allegedly raised by an MIM leader, even as the party vents out at T. Raja Singh insulting the Prophet. A Congress Neta also jumps in with hate rhetoric, though again his party claims to distance itself. And Raja Singh, whatever you gave the statement, you should forgive that statement. And if you don't want it, forgive it. I'm telling every Muslim, Raja Singh, who has seen the car, kill him and kill him. The man at the center of the storm. BJP MLA from Goshamal in Hyderabad, T. Raja Singh, got a hero's welcome on returning home. Bail within hours of arrest was seen as a victory by some, though it fueled anger elsewhere. We want justice! We want justice! We want justice! The BJP has issued him notice on why he shouldn't be expelled from the party. And it steps up demands for action against alleged hate raisers like AIMIM corporator Zafar Khan. A BJP MLA, an insult to the Prophet and communal tensions fueled for politics, with elections in Telangana due next year as the backdrop. It boils down to that. Who's fueling this vitriol? Who's looking to keep the fire burning for political ends?